Do you ever wish for something to happen? Something to get you out of the same old routine? What if something alters your life completely? The way she touches up her hair with the reflection of the glass, just to make sure she looks put together. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Just let her be the stranger in my life? I bet if I passed by her again, she would forget I ever existed. Even if I tried, I could never forget her. She's beautiful. Not the kind of beautiful you see on magazines or on the screens in Times Square. The type of beautiful that just doesn't feel real. Everything about her makes me speechless. Or even the way she looks into my eyes every time I press the floor button for her. It's as if our eyes are slowly dancing with each other. I'd do anything to keep her looking at me like that. If only I could tell her, I'm in love with you, but I have no idea who you are. I see this girl twice a day and I'm in love with her. She is the best part of my day and she doesn't even know it. I'm actually insane. I'm on the phone with my friends. All they do is tell me how crazy I am. Even if she spoke a different language, I don't think the situation would be any different. What if she is my soulmate, and I've ruined my chances because I've been too scared to speak to her? I have to know her. Our first date, we became friends over coffee. Although she was this beautiful girl sitting in front of me, she was also someone I was meant to know. Favorite movie? The Godfather, for sure, The Godfather. What was your favorite memory as a child? Probably this one day during Paul's little girl. I was both my parents, and we were all together in Central Park. I, I don't remember how old I was, but I remember it being a day when we all seemed genuinely happy. My, my parents had their differences, sure, but this one day, it felt like everything was perfect. Like a movie, if I'm being completely honest. I guess our younger selves felt like life would turn out like a movie, with a perfect scene laid out and a happy ending. Maybe it can for certain people. Maybe us. Just not Al Pacino and The Godfather. Our second date was a walk in the park. Literally. I don't think I've ever been like this with anyone before. After walking, we spent the entire afternoon at a flower truck. But none of those flowers were as beautiful as her. I felt like myself around her. Not the shy, overthinking nobody that went unnoticed. I meant something. Something to her. On our third date, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but I knew I wanted her around forever. I realized I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. And when you realize something like that, you want that new life to start as soon as possible.
What if she's going to be the love of my life, and I end up growing old with her? What if she's my best friend, the one I want to see before I go to sleep? Why have I been so blind? I've been in love with her this entire time, and we've never even spoken a word to each other. I love you. I don't even know her name. I'm Lydia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. That's all it took. I was scared of something so small, and it ended up leading me to this. After we met, everything fell into place. But better.